Hello. Hi, Meech. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. And you? Good. I'm very good, thank you. How was your weekend? My weekend was very nice. It was very nice. Yes, today's Tuesday. It's my yeah. Monday, Tuesday. It's early. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I'm look maybe a little sleepy. <laughs> No, you don't. You don't look sleepy at all. What is the time where you are? Eight a.m. right now. Oh wow, it's very early. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, <laughs> it's early to study English. Oh, uh, so yeah. I'm sorry, my my mistakes. <laughs> oh, you you never need to be sorry about making a mistake because that's why you're here to make mistakes and learn from it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah. So, so what time do you normally wake up? Um, normally seven, seven a.m. Seven. Yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Yeah. I, all I my hate life, waking up early. <laughs> yeah, I, actually, I don't like to as well. But all my life, since I was in kindergarten, mm -hmm. uh, my classroom. Oh, my, uh, the school starts 7 a.m. So a long, oh, wow. it's a long time. He, I have to wake up 6 half, hmm. uh, 6 a.m. and half past 6, 6 a.m. Yeah, yeah. So because of that, uh, I think there's something in my mind. Hey, time to wake yeah, up. Wake up, wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Well, at least at least you have a good sleeping habit then, because um, I, I, for one, my classes only start later because students don't normally have classes very early. So I'm only waking up at like 9 p.m., half past nine to start oh. work at because mm -hmm. I, I start work at 11 and mm -hmm. then I work. I work through until the evening because students prefer to have classes uh, in the evening rather mm -hmm. than in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But I prefer start my lesson in the morning uh, because if we, if we, I plan uh, after my my work, mm -hmm. yes, my work and at night, for example, seven p.m., eight p.m., nine p.m. I think I will be more um, uh, tired. I, yes, feel I yes. can observe uh, vocabulary or have mm -hmm. a talk. I prefer in the morning, uh, earlier, but I am um, starting my day. Uh, yeah. I it's in the morning. I have no excuses to show yes. here. <laughs> ah, Definitely. so if. If you say you have no excuses, then I don't want to hear tired as being an excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool, cool. So um, I noticed that you shared a article with me. Would you like to go through that? Yeah. What do you think to talk about tooth, teeth, dentist? Teeth. Teeth. So, teeth. So for let me ask you a couple questions. Do you mm. enjoy going to the dentist? Of course, no. <laughs> it does <laughs> hurt. And, and um, what is it that you don't like about the dentist? I think the environment, the, mm. um, the, the, the noise. When yes. The, <laughs> yes, I think the, the, the first one. And stay laid down and don't see sometimes what the dentists are doing in your mouth. Yeah, you literally can't see and you're still awake and they've just got all these hands in your mouth. <laughs> Generally, I close my eyes. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and I wait till he finish, my dentist finish. But I chose this article because last Saturday, last Saturday? Mm -hmm. Yes, last Saturday I went uh, to the dentist. It was a ah. long time because, okay. because be, uh, after... Uh, this pandemic has been started. I avoid to see uh, the, doc, the my basic appointments, mm -hmm. and I remember. Oh, it's time to go because I was feeling something in my mouth. 
that ah, hurts a little bit. Okay, when okay. I drink a wa uh, fro uh, cold water, so mm, maybe I have some things. <laughs> yes. Let me help. So I visit. I. I, I shadow an apartment and uh, okay it's great because I I think I don't know I have a, a basic vocabulary about dentist mm, mm. okay okay cool so let me share this but about screen. you you have any problems you like to visit dentists so you won't believe this I am now 30 years old I don't have any fullings. I don't have any metal in my mouth. Oh. Uh, my teeth are in perfect condition. Um, so I am very... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> the, the, the reason being is that I'm a little bit obsessed with my mouth. So I'll wake up, I'll brush my teeth, I will mm -hmm. rinse my mouth out, I will floss, then... Later on in the day, I have like a mouthwash. So I will use my mouthwash just once during the day. And then at night, I'll brush my teeth again. And I've been doing this for 15 years. So my teeth are just always clean. And if I feel, um, what's a good way to describe it? You know, like when your teeth feel furry or hairy, they feel like there's something on them, you know, then I go okay. and brush them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so I'm quite obsessed with my with my teeth and my mouth. Yeah. Good. Um, Congratulations, uh, <laughs> me. <Mitch. thank> <laughs> it's it's very um, hard. This it's a good habit, <laughs> as you said. I, I'll I'll give you the story that got me into this good habit. So mm. when I was when I was about 15 years old, I was dating this girl. I had a girlfriend. Um, and and you know when, when you're 15 years old you're not the most loyal person mm -hmm. and you know you might kiss Confident. someone else and someone might kiss another person and you know you've kissed like three people in one day kind of thing so what ended up happening was I got a disease well I don't know if it's a disease or a virus but it's called gingivitis and it infects the top piece of your gum yeah. And it makes you it makes you start to bleed. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, had, okay. I had got gingivitis from the girl that I was dating because the only way you can get it is by kissing. Mm -hmm. So so because I had gotten this thing that literally made my mouth bleed, it made me very scared of having that again. So because of that, I've become yeah. obsessed with cleaning my mouth. But this happened 10 years ago <laughs> and I'm still, I'm still yeah. like, it'll never happen again. I will never yeah. let that happen again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because it was, hor it was horrible. Like I would literally just be talking and you could see the blood on my teeth coming from oh, my gums. Yeah. So it was bad. Um, and the dentist that I went to, she actually had to take like this drill and go like, and cut the gums away to get the infection out <sighs> so it, it was bad it was very bad yeah. oh um, poor girl i'm <laughs> so girl. sorry <laughs> poor me poor me <laughs> yeah uh, she was the one that gave it to me i was very well behaved young man okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh my god oh my god but you so, so you never felt the the tooth tooth ache tooth ache toothache. Toothache. I, never I, felt I, just I, the the, the yes. your gingive gen, yes, gingive yes. gingive uh, ginger gingivitis um let me Gengiv see how gingivitis gingivite gingivite okay i'll send it to you in the chat now mm -hmm. for you and then you can have a look here uh, i'll just read the definition for you so gingivitis <laughs> is a common and mild form of gum disease that causes irritation, redness, and swelling. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's the part of the gum, uh, the, the gum that actually holds the tooth in. So the mm -hmm. piece around the tooth, that's, that's what actually gets uh, <coughs> infected. This is how you spell oh, it. Okay, mm -hmm. but uh, chewing gum, chewing gum, mm -hmm. is there like a rubber? You, you, you yes. chewing. 
Yes. I, 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 can, I can I can connect chewing gun. Chewing uh, gun is your gengiv. So. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can understand the word. The, 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 the word chew, why people say chewing gun, but you're, you, you doesn't, it will be better, uh, eraser, well, eraser, <laughs> eraser, chew, chewing eraser. I don't know. <laughs> um, gum, gum though is, is formed from like a specific process to make a gum. So that's like a like a very stringy and thick kind of liquid as a gum. Uh, yeah. So you uh -huh. could get you could get a gum from a tree, and we would harvest yeah. the gum out of a tree. Yeah. yeah. So it's just gum is like referring to sort of a type uh -huh. of liquid slash solid, um, uh -huh. and it's very very chewy. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. okay. okay. So let let us get started with this article. Okay. Yeah, this ex, uh, this material is different. Uh, I'm used. Uh, yes. You have a conversation. You have, I think, I think uh, some definitions. Mm -hmm. I, I I never try it, but well, let, we we can a, do. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so the warm up activity has, um, the, I'll tell you how it works. You're going to listen to me as I read the text. Mm -hmm. Then we'll have a conversation based on the questions below. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. you, you got to listen to me nice and closely. Okay. I will mm -hmm. read, I'll read nice and slowly and clearly. Okay. Nice. In many English speaking countries, children believe in the tooth fairy. When kids lose a tooth, they put it under their pillow that night. The tooth fairy takes the tooth and leaves behind some money. Do children in your country do any um, anything special with their baby teeth? Please explain your answer. Mm -hmm. This is the question, yeah? Yes. So over here is a question that relates to what we just read. So what we just read is that in many English speaking countries, we have something called the tooth fairy. And basically what happens is, is when you're a child or a baby and you lose a tooth, you'll uh -huh. take your tooth and put it underneath your pillow. And then at night, the tooth fairy will fly into your room. She will take your, your tooth and she will leave money in replace of your tooth. So if you lose a tooth, the tooth uh -huh. fairy will give you money for the tooth. Do you have something similar in your country? Yes, just uh, I know this kind of fairy, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not sure if in my country the most ch child or ch children believes be believe. In my case, my family we never talk about a. Uh, there will some fairy will visit you. Mm -hmm. No, in my case, ours took off a teeth. It was a horrible experience. Yeah. <laughs> it is a horrible experience. <laughs> I remember uh, I use I use a, a line, mm -hmm. a line, mm -hmm. uh, like a, a string, like a string. Yeah, yeah or a, yes. Or, or like a fishing line. Like a fishing line, okay, okay yeah. in your teeth and try to drop. <laughs> uh, someone told to put under, um, I don't know, I, I will try to explain this. Yes. The, the same line, the same fish line, use mm -hmm. it and put on the door, the another extreme, yes. Yes. and close yes. the door. So perfect. <laughs> So <laughs> the best, I, ex, the best experience. <laughs> what what you just explained right now, I think everybody does it because my dad did that to me when I was a child. I had this this one loose tooth, and he's like, "Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you've got a loose tooth! Yay, come yes. here!" And we we tied this thing onto it, and he tied it onto the door, and then he just slammed the door, and it just went clunk. The whole tooth just popped out, <laughs> and. I don't like to see blood. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, 
I can say it I can imagine. Me... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't like. I I'm very. When you say um, scary, I don't know. It I I don't feel very well. <laughs> yeah. And after you can you can feel your proper blood inside mm. your mouth. You um, can taste it. You can yeah, feel you can it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> have, have you have you ever had um, your wisdom teeth taken out? Yes. So, Four. Yeah. My fault. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Um, I was actually this kind of tooth. This kind of tooth doesn't uh, doesn't work. I think. Yes. Yeah. So so humans humans are slowly evolving. And as we're evolving, there are certain things that we don't need. And mm -hmm. those, back, those back teeth are one of them. We no longer need these long, flat teeth. So yes. now, now people are getting them, but our jaws are too small. So we have to get them removed. Otherwise, all your teeth get pushed together. So mm -hmm. I had to get the bottom ones removed so that these teeth didn't didn't do that. So they don't overlap mm -hmm. each other. They mm -hmm. stay straight. Mm -hmm. And then, then I had to get one taken out this side because this one wasn't growing. Mm -hmm. So this one would have pushed all these teeth this way. Yeah. So I, I had these two pushing my teeth in my bottom teeth inwards. And then this one pushing my teeth that way. So yeah. I had to, I had to get all of them taken out so that my mouth has enough space for my teeth. <laughs> after, after yes uh, that, that's perhaps the same with me um, uh, the position mm. of my teeth never grow up because yeah. it was laid down so i have to yeah. cut my take. gun like um surgery take uh, off a oh. lot of uh, and, <laughs> and i uh, my dentist take mm. off um, uh, my four in the same day took out all four on the same day in the same yeah. day so me too me too and, because and he how... told me if you can support your if you can support you it will continue if you mm -hmm. if you say stop i will stop but it's mm. better for you take off all all because you stay one month uh um with uh, j just uh, eating a uh, uh, soup uh, and liquids, liquid. liquids. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it's better take off for the same day, take a rest one week, two weeks, and mm. we'll be fine. Then you'll be <laughs> better, yeah. I, I have a big cheeks, as I know, and after <laughs> that, my cheeks wasn't the <laughs> like this you look yeah. like, a little, like a squirrel with their nuts and their cheeks <laughs> <laughs> it was so very very funny <laughs> when when i got my when i got my wisdom teeth taken out i was about 16 years old and i used to play baseball um and i used to play baseball for my province so provincial baseball mm -hmm. so we would go to tour other provinces, right? Yeah. I got my wisdom teeth taken out four days before my big national tournament. So okay. I had to still go and do the tournament. But <gasps> I had like, I had all this cotton wool in my mouth and I had like these big cheeks and I still had to play because I was part of the team and it was something that was going to happen. But they could only do the operation on that specific day otherwise i would have to wait like six months later mm, and okay. if i had to if i had to wait six months later it would start to damage my teeth so mm -hmm. i had to get them out so i had no choice so imagine you're the 16 year old boy that's about to go on a big tour and you've just got this like huge face it's all swollen you can't eat anything you have to drink like oh no it was it was terrible uh, yes and uh eat ice cream i think the the best part <laughs> a mm -hmm. lot of ice cream or cold uh, things anything cold and i could remember that when they took it out i could feel with my tongue like mm -hmm. like the stitches in my mouth could you feel the stitches stitches 
No, what means stitches? Like he went, uh, is this? <laughs> no, that's, that's stretches. Ah, stretches. stretch. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, stitches is like, let's say I cut myself here and the cut is really bad. Mm -hmm. Then the doctor, the doctor will basically take a stitch or a thread yeah. and he will stitch uh, it up. Okay, stitch. It. Okay, I know. Okay, when you yeah. file something as well. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So basically when they cut open and took out my teeth, they had to stitch the gums closed. Yes. So, the, so they the same away from me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, and, and they stitch it with a, a dissolving stitch. So the stitch that they use, it dissolves in your uh, mouth okay. over a couple yeah. of weeks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. I, I, I can still, even today, I can feel where they took out my teeth. I, I can feel it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And this was. Because you, Mitch, you, you, you it's not four days af, af, after the, <laughs> they are surgery or to cough yeah. I, you have to wait more for days i know i know <laughs> but i i didn't this is this is life you know so people will tell <laughs> people will tell you to do one thing but you will do something else <laughs> yes yes yeah okay 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 uh let me remember you told i told you i think i i answer your, your question Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. So now we've got a bit of a vocabulary lesson. So I would normally say the word and then you would say the word after me so that you can hear the pronunciation. Mm -hmm. But I think you can say the word and if you make a mistake, I will correct it. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Cavity. Cavity. So a cavity is a hole inside of your tooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. In Portuguese, they name this cavi cavity. We say carie. Almost Cari. my name. My name is Karen. So when I in this school, people say, "Oh, I have a car in my teeth. I have a car in my tooth." Oh. My God. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Karen, um. carie. Very similar. Very, very, very similar. similar. <laughs> yeah. And, and did people used to, to make fun of you or? Yeah. Uh, yeah. A long time. <laughs> so, so don't Boom. worry. Me, me, me too. L look at my name. My name is Mitch. Mitch. What does my name, what does my name rhyme with? Mitch. I'll put it in the chat. Oh. <laughs> So I was I was 12 years old when some little guy as some person at school said, "Hey Mitch, you're a bitch." <laughs> and no. I I was heartbroken. I was like, "What did you say?" So I went to my dad and I'm like, "Dad, these people are swearing at me and they're saying horrible things." Yeah. And he just looked at me and he's like, "It is what it is. Get over it." And <laughs> I just had to learn that yes. you know, some, some people are going to make jokes and you just have to get over to, it. To know? deal, yes. Yeah, to, to you deal. have to deal with this. Yeah. <laughs> um, Horrible. So my, name, my name literally rhymes with a swear word. So it's one of those things. I was teased for a long <laughs> time. Um, basically, they stopped teasing me when I punched someone because oh. they were teasing me. Yeah, this is how boys with work. VR, baseball. <laughs> no, with my hand. <laughs> you know, I, I think um, boy, boys, boys are, when they're younger, are a lot different to girls. We'll get into a fight with each other and then uh -huh. we'll be friends afterwards, you know. <laughs> okay. Where I, I think guys, I, guys, yeah. boy, boy. <laughs> like when, when I watched my sister, if she got into her fight with her girlfriends, they would fight for weeks and weeks and not talk to each other and spread rumors and tell secrets. <laughs> but with a guy, you know, we would have a problem and yes. we would go and then we'd be friends again. Yes, <laughs> Probably the only difference between men and women. <laughs> Cool. Let's, go through. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go through the last little words we've got here. We've got four more. Gums, filling, and extra. 
Okay, gums. Okay, chewing gums. I can remember filling. Mm -hmm. uh, so a filling is when you get a cavity, they put a filling inside the cavity. So when you get a hole in your tooth, they put a filling inside your tooth. Yeah, so I have, I think, four <laughs> fillings. Ah, <laughs> so I'm very, I'm very lucky. I have zero. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I do remember once, though, I felt like I could feel whenever I would chew something, it would get like stuck inside my teeth. Mm -hmm. um, so I went to the dentist, but the dentist said to me, I don't have a cavity. I just need the tooth to be slightly worked so that it doesn't make a hole. So he basically took a drill and he like cleaned it out and then it was mm, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's better. Yeah. Yeah, much better. There's, there's, mm -hmm. I have no metal, no metal in my mouth. <laughs> cool. And did you ever have braces? Yes, I got. I, I oh, had. you had braces. Okay. Yes. okay. Oh, terrible, <laughs> terrible. Using glasses, braces. Oh, wonderful girl. <laughs> oh, shame, shame. So, so uh, I can only imagine how horrible children would have been because you would have been the four eyes and the brace face. Yes, uh, yeah, yes, you yeah. came and, and another <laughs> when you are uh, kids, uh, kids, children never upset to, Ch to children say the most horrible things. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and I think it's because children, when they're young, they only know honesty, right? They don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't. They don't know that maybe they shouldn't be honest. They should just not say anything. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You are right, but okay, I so used it a long time. A long time. I think three years. Three oh, years. That's not I think bad. So. That's not bad. How, how old were you when you had braces? Oh. Uh, I tried I when I was a teenager, so mm -hmm. I stopped. And after that, I used it when I was uh, 20s, in my 20s and my 15s. Okay, okay, okay. So you had to do them twice? Yeah, yeah. Okay, interesting. And and why, why, why did you have to do it to make all your teeth go straight? Because my... Uh, the, I With, think my dentist, when I was a teenager, it's so good. So yeah. I have to use it again. Okay, okay, cool. So what we have now is only two minutes left. But what oh, we have again. in front of us are some expressions we can use to talk about teeth problems, such yeah. as I have a toothache. Toothache. Mm -hmm. I think I have a cavity which means mm -hmm. I think I have a hole in my tooth. I hope. Or, hole or cavity? What's the better? Cavity? I would say, so when you're talking about teeth, we mm -hmm. say cavity. Cavity. So it's, be it's better to say I have a cavity in my tooth rather than I have a hole in my tooth. <laughs> okay. You know, uh, but, but both of them are correct. If you had to go to the dentist and say to the dentist, I think I have a hole in my tooth, he mm -hmm. will understand. He will know what you're talking about. If you go to the dentist and say, I've got a cavity, he will know exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. okay? So mm -hmm. it's one of those things. He's still going to understand you. But if you say cavity, he's going to understand you just a bit better. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So, and then you, we could you, also say. You start a yes. floss. Floss, it's the line that you clean. Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Floss. Uh, floss. Well, floss. I was. I would think it was a floor, floor when you when you clean it's mm -hmm. uh, I don't I'm not sure floor flourishing I don't know if, uh, I'm not sure either uh, that's not giving me much but yeah so flossing is when I take the little like a thin little rope if you mm -hmm. like and you clean in between your teeth and etc yeah mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so some of the other expressions we have is obviously one of my teeth came out. Came out. So came out 
means that it is literally it had it's fallen out of my mouth. It's coming out of my mouth. Okay. Oh, okay. And, and a wisdom we'll, teacher. We'll drop the similar. Okay. Meet. Thanks so yes. much for oh, today. Oh, pleasure, pleasure. See you.